Hey, this is Jana from Behind the Blush. Today we're bringing you a fun and easy tutorial on the perfect look for summer or if you're a guest for a summertime cocktail attire wedding, this would be a perfect look for it. So starting out, we're gonna use the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I really like this, it controls oil well, it makes your pores look really small, it's really great. The next thing I'm gonna use here on Christina is the MAC BB Cream in Light Plus. I'm using a BB cream because Christina has really great skin and I'm a firm believer of less is more when it comes to your face. So I like perfect look looking skin, but I'm not gonna use a full coverage foundation if I really don't have to, especially in the summertime, it's really nice to let your skin breathe. Next, for her brows, I'm using a combination of Coquette and Espresso from MAC. I'm just lining the bottom of the brow and using upward strokes to the arch of the brow and then use downward strokes using the arch to the point of the brow. Just use small tiny strokes, you want it to look like hairs when you're applying the powder and you're just filling in any areas that need to be filled in. After I'm done the brows, I go in with a clean spoolie to brush through the brows to make them a little bit more natural. Then I go in with the Maybelline Clear Brow Gel to set them. Next, I'm going to prime the eyes with the Selection Paint Pot to make the makeup last all day. And here, I'm using the Naked 3 palette. It has a great selection of colors. Going in with the 224 brush and the combination of Nooner and Limit. And I'm just going to tap off my brush to get any excess off and I'm going to use a windshield wiper motion to put the product into the crease and I'm just blending it out. I don't want it to be a harsh line or anything like that so that's why I'm using a fluffier brush and I'm bringing it kind of into the outer V or C area of the eye as well. I'm just grabbing the MAC 230 brush to place some of the Shimmery Shadow Trick right onto the center of the eyelid. That's where the light's gonna catch when your eyes open and it's gonna make it really pop for the whole look to have that shimmery focal point. I'm grabbing a MAC 219 pencil brush and a combination of Factory and Wire to darken up the outer corner of the eye. I don't want it to be too dark, but I like a little bit of definition in the outer corner. It just makes the look a little bit more multi-dimensional and the pencil brush is the perfect brush to go in and pinpoint where you want the product to go. I'm gonna take the 224 brush again and a combination of Nooner and Limit just to blend out all the product that I just put on. So I don't want there to be any harsh definition of between the colors that I added. And I like it to be, like I said earlier, that soft blown out look. I'm taking a clean 217 brush to further blend out the look. Using a clean brush at this point in the eye makeup look really helps you blend out the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the 230 brush and the color Strange to highlight the brow bone. I prefer using a matte or satin highlight just so that it lightens the area but doesn't put shimmer. I'm taking that same 230 brush and the color dust which is a shimmery color to put into the tear duct area when you put a shimmer in the tear duct it really draws attention to your eyes and makes you look wide awake which I love under Christina's eyes I'm using a pencil brush and a combination of the shades Nooner and Limit to line Christina's eyes I'm just using an angled 266 brush from MAC using the darkest shade Black Heart and I'm just pressing it right into the lash line. I'm using my finger to pull up a little bit so I can wiggle my brush as close as possible to the lash line. I like using the flesh tone pencil to line the waterline and here I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil in light. Instead of using false lashes, I'm just going to be using a couple of layers of the Maybelline Waterproof Mascara in black and I'm just wiggling it really close to the lash line to make them look really full. To conceal and highlight under Christina's eyes, I'm using a combination of Bright Forecast and Radiant Rose Highlighting Pens by MAC. I'm using the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush to buff it out under her eyes. I kind of use a, a V or a C shape under the eyes depending on the person's face shape 
to really brighten their under eye. I also like using these two products to conceal any redness around the nose or lips that usually everyone has. So I'm just using these highlighting pens to do a little bit of light concealing. Taking the Real Techniques Crease Brush and a combination of light and medium plus mineral eye skin finish powders by MAC. I've just potted them for my kit so they're in a palette. And I'm just powdering lightly underneath your eyes and then using a big fluffy brush by MAC. I'm using Laguna Bronzer just to warm up her base and do a little bit of contouring. I prefer using a more cool tone contour, but for this look, I like the rosiness that the Laguna Bronzer gives. And I'm just using the 187 Duo Fiber Brush from MAC to achieve this look. Next, I'm going in with Warm Soul Mineralized Blush by MAC. It's seriously one of my favorite blushes. It gives you the most beautiful, it's not necessarily a shimmer, but it gives you a really nice glow to the skin. I'm using Kevin Aquan's Highlighter and Candlelight in a C shape at the top of her cheekbones, a little bit down the bridge of her nose, and then a little bit on her cupid's bow as well. To finish off Christina's summertime makeup look, I'm using the MAC Lipstick in Lickable. It's a really pretty blue tone pink, and it just really pulls together the full look. look on our beautiful model Christina. Stay tuned for some more summer hair and makeup tutorials coming up from us.